Before he vanished, Julian Brown, known to millions online as Nature Jab, was building something in his backyard that he believed could change the world. He wasn't a scientist in a white lab coat or a billionaire in a tech campus. He was a young man with a welder's mask, a stubborn streak, and a promise he made when he was five years old. For most kids, those words fade into childhood. Julian carried them into adulthood like a compass. He grew up in Tennessee, now lives in the Atlanta area, and built his early life around discipline and skill. At 17, while other teenagers were focused on sports or weekends, Julian was in a welding shop, earning certifications in stick, MIG, and TIG welding. At the same time, he was training in martial arts, five years, dozens of classmates. By the black belt test, he was the only one left from his original group. It was a lesson in persistence, that real goals are reached long after most people quit. When high school ended, Julian made a strategic choice, skipped the fun everyone else was chasing, and used the years at home with low expenses to go all in on his mission. Julian saw the planet choking on plastic, oceans filled with bottles, rivers tangled with bags, landfills that would outlast generations. And he realized the recycling industry wasn't fixing it. Most plastic was never truly recycled. It wasn't profitable enough. Plastic, he knew, is made from oil. Oil is fuel. What if you could reverse engineer it? This idea became his philosophy, rooted in a permaculture principle called produce no waste. In nature, nothing is trash. Everything becomes fuel for something else. Julian wanted to apply that same principle with technology. Julian had no degree in chemistry, mechanical engineering or electrical engineering, so he taught himself. Five years of trial, error and iteration building machines he called Marks, from Mark II to Mark 4.5. His process was dangerous. In May 2024, an explosion from his reactor left him with second-degree burns on his ankles and feet. He recovered, learned from the accident, and kept building. Julian didn't hide his work behind closed doors he built in public. The transparency built trust. His following grew past 1.7 million. They became more than an audience. They became his backers, donating through GoFundMe to keep his work alive. By 2025, the world was starting to take notice. Alexis Ohanian, co-founder of Reddit, selected Julian as a 776 Climate Fellow, awarding him $100,000. Forbes profiled him. The Root called him a pioneer. But the real test came in Vancouver, Washington, at ASAP Labs. Critics online said his fuel was horrible and would destroy engines. When the results came back, they told a different story. His plaster diesel passed with flying colors, even cleaner than standard diesel in some measures. Julian poured it into a Ford F-250. The engine turned over and roared to life. Proof of concept, undeniable. Success brought recognition and pressure. In June and July of 2025, his posts grew darker. He spoke of being followed, filmed black helicopters above his neighborhood, warned that he was under attack. Then he disappeared. His followers flooded his GoFundMe with donations, over $30,000 in days. Comment sections filled with, protect this man. Weeks later, he returned. To some, Julian is a visionary, proof that one determined person can chip away at a global problem. To 
to others, he's a dreamer chasing a flawed solution. But no matter which side you believe, you can't deny what he's built, not just machines, but a community. A reminder that innovation can come from anywhere, even a backyard. Julian says, success is my only option, failure's not. And he lives it. This is Humans on Higher Frequencies, a reminder of who we really are, creators. Who should we feature next? <laughs>